Hello guys, today we'll be showing you how to fix Black Ops 3 options menu. So first of all, I'm using a 2GB GeForce GTX 750 Ti, as you can see here. A Core i7 4790 with all its cores enabled and 8 gigs of RAM. So I was having an issue, and many people did, with Black Ops 3 that in the options menu they cannot go past medium settings. This was introduced on a patch they released to fix some performance issues and it seems that they, well, on 2 gigabyte cards, video cards, you cannot go past medium settings. Same with shadows, or independent transparency, and all the stuff. So it seems that they restricted us from going there because they seem to think that we will be having performance issues. So we're restricted there. So many people told me that they need help with that. So I, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So first, what do you want to do is to quit the game. Then you right click on Black Ops 3 on Steam on properties, click on local files, browse local files and it will open the, the games folder. Then you access the folder players, open this one that's it's config.ini. Okay, so here is what controls all the game's options. So you can see the frame rate, to draw the frame rate, smooth, smooth in the frame rate, the FOB, split screen. And there's an option here that says hide graphics options that are too demanding for the user's video card. So the restrict graphic options, you change the value one to zero. You click here, file, save. You close the the, the config file and you run the game after that the game should be working as intended the options menu will be unlocked and you can change whatever you want just like before the patch it seems that this patch was released to give better performance to the users but it seems that they just downgraded the graphics and restricted some users like us to bump up the graphics settings so we stopped complaining on their forums, but it didn't work. The game is running as bad as before. Well, not as bad as, as on release date, but it's not running as good as it should. I mean, okay, let's see the options menu now. So as you can see, now we can go up to extra, just like before. And let's see, I'll put everything maxed so you can see that it works. Always on. Yeah, whatever. Everything on max setting. You apply it, click yes. And as you can see, this is way higher. Let's see, I'll enter a mission. For FPS monitoring, as you can see in the bottom left corner, I'm using cam. You can download it using the link in the description below or click on the top right corner of the video in order to know how to use it. Click on the cam log on the top right corner. If you click on the top right corner, it will lead you to a tutorial made by me. Okay. Let's see if this is max setting. On max settings, the game isn't running well at all, but we will find out. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Okay, yes, we are in the maximum settings. You can see I'm at 30 frames per second. But yeah, the game runs like complete shit, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, this is max settings. As you can see here. Let's bump this down a little. Yeah, we don't need this. I made occlusion on high. No motion blur, we hate motion blur. Let's see if I do this. Now it runs better. But it should run better than this. If it runs on, on consoles or at 60 frames per second, we shouldn't have an issue. But yeah, that fixes the game's options menu. Uh, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.